lately. And when I mean strange, hello, uh, they are talking about that on Channel Unexplained Mystery. Um, well, I've been thinking about this for quite a while, especially um, when there are storms. I don't know about you all, but I've had been hearing reports of people's pets, their dogs and their cats. It used to be when a storm came, they, would, they wouldn't act so like wild or out of the ordinary, but now oh, now it's like they're terrified. It's like they're something's out there and it's making them very, very nervous. The pets, the animals. Hello everyone, your cats and or your dogs, the dogs especially, if you have a dog that, you know, animals don't like loud noises or anything. Some of them don't. Some of them, you know, because of their age, they get a little bit deaf and stuff and they can't hear as well. But there are animals who, your pets, probably you have young pets. It's like young kids. They're like your children. They, are they acting way off as if something is troubling them something is troubling them not to mention you know they could be crying or you know whining for no reason and you cannot pinpoint it because they can't talk to you in human language a good afternoon you all your cat um always acts strange it's a natural predator um, let's see. Kitties are shaking. They veer, your cats have been on edge, hiding under the furniture. Okay. And like, it's, say, a dog. A dog that's a, um, I don't know, like a sheep herding dog or one of those special breeds and stuff. Like, if you have one of those type of dogs, purebred or something, when the lightning comes and the thunder comes... They are trying their best to hide anywhere they can to get away from it because they're terrified now. Uh, and it may not just be certain breeds. It may be your dog or your cat doing that, hiding wherever they can hide now. When before, maybe they might have thought about hiding somewhere or maybe they didn't, but now they want to literally hide or they want to get up in the bed with you and just pounce all over you because they're scared and they're they're anxious and they're frightened and they don't know what to do. They feel all of this energy and it's it's unsettling to them and they don't know what to do. Are you experiencing that with your dog or your cat or your birds or whatever pets you got, you all? Your rabbit is doing that. Um, confused. Um, your dog is right now under your bed. She's a mutt, but the cutest little mutt you've ever seen. Jack Russells are alert, and they know the storm is coming way before us. Your cat keeps looking at things that no one else can see. Um, and it's true that animals have like a sixth sense, and they can um, see like into the other realm, and they can see in the dark and stuff. Hello, if you all are just tuning in that's what i'm wondering intruders but um that's life in uh south africa that's that's not nice often looks at something that isn't there but ruthie honey what if well you probably think this yourself what your little mutt is looking at is actually there even though you can't see it it's literally like right like right there in front of your your little dog right there in front of it just like children who talk to so-called imaginary friends but you know they're not imaginary they're real because they can sense it someone someone wrote in the comment under the Cthulhu, their uh, son, their little son, their little child said, Daddy, um, 
you know about Cthulhu or something. Did you all read the comment? I think it was on the last Cthulhu video, not this one, but the long one. Said that he he was um, he knew all of this stuff about Cthulhu, and his dad asked him where he knew, and he said, "I don't want to talk about it now." And he started shaking. He started shaking, you all. And um, have your animals been shaking? Have they been shaking to whereas they weren't? And you try to hold them and they can't quit shaking you all. Your pets. Um, yours. Um, dogs mauling their owners. Um, your animals have acting strange. Y'all, this is a serious video. This is, uh, I don't get on here for you, you know, just, you know, just, uh, you know, joke around and stuff about this is serious what's happening because, um, animals can sense things that we can't, um, they can. Your dog just going around in circles. Um, oh, wow. She's been going ballistic, barking at nothing. Um, the canary in the gold mine. Or coal mine. Yeah. Um, Uh, Divine Bliss, you have spoke of Cthulhu. Um, wow, they got you good. Well, humans do sense things. And if you're intuitive, you can sense it too, you all. You can. But animals, um, this is... Um, the animals, are they acting strangely, acting rather odd, out of character for them? You notice like a, a swing, a shift in their character, their behavior, um, and you're trying to help them, but you can't figure it out, you all. Um, uh, chat loves you from Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All your fur babies are very clingy the last couple of days. Um, seismic activity. Is there any predictions of seismic earthquakes coming? I know that... Um, Somebody's having rotten smell. They, some people smelling the rotten smell of entities. Uh, sulfur, the rotten eggs, so the ground opening up. Your dog will not let you out of her sight, but your goats seem to be fine, wimpy. Your horses used to go crazy right before earthquakes. Are they going crazy now, the keys? Are your, your horses acting strange now? Um, you don't hear the birds? The birds are here. There's just the little chirper birds. But um, it hasn't been quiet today. It's been actually... It was really warm earlier, but now it feels actually really good outside for some strange reason. But I'm not going to complain. And um, the barometric pressure is like, it's down. Everything is down with a nice breeze blowing you off. Um, you live in Ohio. Um, jerky, motion, stumbling. Emotionally suffering, and that's sad. If they are emotionally suffering. You know what I've been noticing with my cat? She, at times, 
the majority of the time she will sit in the chair in the living room. She has her own chair. Uh, but then there are certain times where she will go to the very back of the house. She will lay on the floor in our little office area. She'll lay on the floor right there uh, all by herself. And I think, what are you doing, Kitty? And sometimes she will lay hide inside of a, a box. But it's not often. But she has been, like, hiding during certain periods, just, like, going to where nobody could see her, a really a safe place. Um, uh, Jesse Leon, hello. Your cat stares out the front when it's open and it won't go out. You got a heat wave, uh, Mary? Um, it smells at, of sulfur, Wimp, wimpy turtle, where's this at? Sulfur smell? Because that's a sign of like an earthquake or something, the ground opening up. If you're smelling a sulfur smell, hopefully the sewage pipes haven't broken, but the sulfur smell, that's um, strange. Your dog is feeling or seeing something. Yeah, a secret place and you found it. Yeah, they try to hide, but it takes a long time. San Jose, California is very hot. Mary, is it harder, hotter than normal in San, o San Jose? Is that what would you say, San Jose? Uh, yeah, San Jose, California. Spoiled milk sewer. Nothing was broken. Um... You're in California and it's not very hot. 30, th Jesse, you have 42 dogs. Are you an animal shelter? Um, your dog is on high alert. You live by Mount Rainier in Washington. Um, Takuma, a massive heat wave. Wow. 10 cats, you all. That's a lot to take care of. But if your cats are all nice to one another and they don't give you no problem in your dog, that's at least you'd got that. You got peace and harmony, even with all your pets. Um, the floods are coming. Spoiled milk in the air earlier while driving. 42 dogs, a three earthquake. Ah. Uh, Barking and seeing things, you all. Yeah, so this is about your, your animals. If they've been acting out of the ordinary and you think, what's wrong with them? Would you please settle down, you know, if you find yourself having to correct your dog because they're not listening, because they are, they're panicking or something's got their attention. Um, your chihuahua is staring at the ceiling. Um, people do have portals that open up in their house. And I guess animals can see them too. You're during a walk this evening. Your dog looked um, panicky. He's very sensitive. I bet just looking all around because they can sense something in the air. And I wonder if it's like in a certain location right now. Right now I'm not sensing nothing where I'm at. But there are days um, when there's something very, very heavy. You know, one thing I did, let me tell you what happened to me though. As soon as I got through doing the video, this first thing in the morning, as soon as I got doing my first morning video on Kahulu or Cthulhu, um, I was going to go get my tires rotated. So I walked out to my Jeep. As soon as I got through doing the video, I walked out to my Jeep. All of a sudden, as soon as I walked out, I heard a helicopter coming from right over there in the southwestern sky. I got my phone on and I pushed the record button as it literally flew. It was just one black helicopter with their with their guns on it. It flew right over my head. I thought, I just walked outside. I just did that Cthulhu 
video and now you're coming over the tree line at me um, through there and it did immediately as soon as I walked outside to get to my car it's like it knew I came out and then I was thinking um, is that a warning sign for me and or I can go to the opposite are they making sure that I'm okay because of what I'm speaking about you all? Because this interdimensional things, these beings, they're nothing to play around with. And you don't want to just um, just do it just to do it, you all. You don't. Uh, if you've got information you want to get out, you better be serious. And um, you better be protected. Um, yeah. A jolt that followed by waves makes you feel like the ground is shaken. It was a black helicopter. I'll share the video. It's probably only, I think it was only like um, 20 seconds long. My screen was so dark because I had not brightened it up. And you can hear it at first, but within the first three seconds, I, I didn't get it in the view because I couldn't see anything. My phone was practically black, but I held my phone up to where it was. And then you could see it fly right over my head, right over where I was standing to get inside my car. As soon as I walked out the door, it came from over there above the tree lines, you are A black, solid black helicopter. Just like that. That breeze, let me tell you, that breeze feels so good right now. It feels really nice. There's my shadow, and I'm not a shadow person. Um, uh, no, we don't have those uh, PD helicopters here. The only helicopters we will see is army helicopters and or medical helicopters. Um, yeah, it was a black helicopter that flew right over you all. Just like straight over my head as soon as I walked out of the house. That's, now, that's too, that's too big of a coincidence as soon as I walk out. And I thought, well, is there going to be another one? No, there wasn't another one, just that one. Uh, just that one. You all, have you remember that movie, The Pacific Rim? Um, what that was about? Why'd they make a movie about the Pacific Rim? See, there's there's something to that, too. So, um, are your animals behaving strangely? Is it getting harder for you to get their attention, for them to, listening, to listen to you? Um... Do they, are they acting afraid, like something is there? Are they staring off into space? Are they more clingy? Are they not wanting to eat? Um, all of those things. You trained your, with the British Special Forces. Oh, you trained with the British Special Forces helicopters. Um, I uh, love Clara or Claire from the, um, UK. Yeah. Yours are more clingy. Julie, honey, that's okay. Yeah. Second, first time an accident, second time coincidence, third time a pattern. Um... Some people get paid a lot of money to say these things just to put in your subconscious. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't. Um, you feel as though something is going to happen. You get the feeling. Um, yeah. Your dog. Wow. At 3 a.m., Mount St. Helens is active, you heard? Annie? Yeah. Well, before he passed away, he did all of those things. Anticipation. Yeah. Your dog, 
would do that when ships were out there It is spiritual uh, warfare, Michelle. Your dog has been snuggling up. Um, well, September the 2nd at midnight is coming soon. I haven't forgot about it, you all. I haven't. September the 2nd at midnight uh, into, which would make it on the 3rd, at the 12.01 a.m. on the 3rd. That's the last I heard. Um, so we're going to keep an update on that. There's a lot of strange energy in the air, and yet um, there's a, there's a mix of energies. It's like has it has it swings. The energy just goes back and forth. Have you noticed that? Sometimes it's heavy. Sometimes it's not. It's like big, wide swings. Um, yeah, Rebecca. Wait. He's saying 801 now. 801 Pacific Rebecca. Um or Gina, you live the military life so you know what's going on. No, I I don't know what's going on. I know that there's a lot of strange occurrences. I'm a spiritual being in this body. I can tell you what's going on in the spiritual realm. Uh, just like a lot of other people can. Oh, midnight, but that's Washington, D.C. time. Um, under the Oaks. It is said that on September the 2nd, 12.01 uh, a.m., on the 3rd of September, there is to be a rapture event. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying what I heard. There is to be a raptured event for the 144,000. The ships will come down. Um, you'll be taken to a West, West land or West world. Um, you'll get training on a ship for four years, military training. Um, I don't know all about it. I'm trying to like remember what I've heard or something like that. I don't know what it is. I, I don't, but I'm going to watch for that date, um, to see if it happens. And, um, there's somebody named Juan involved, a J U A N involved. And I don't know who a Juan or Juan is. I think who is putting out this information, whoever that is, you all, I don't know. Um, and, uh, yeah, that right there. I don't know all that's going on, and I, I can't really put that in my being. I can't because I got my own focus, but I, I want to watch that date is um, what I want to do because I want to see what happens and what don't happen because sometimes people make predictions and uh, something happens and then something don't happen. So it's, it's good to be aware of either way, whether something happens or whether it doesn't happen and all the parties involved. It's good to um, keep note of that because you want to have, um, if you're going to get information, it better be um, a really, really good source uh, because you wouldn't want to go around saying things like that because I'm telling you what, with that being said and circulated, there are people who are believing this 100%, 100%. You put a date out there, and it doesn't even happen to be this particular thing. When someone gives a date, people are putting so much trust in these people, they trust them to tell them the truth, the total truth. And when these dates come and these events don't happen, 
that really does damage to a person on the inside of here and up here. It messes with them spiritually and mentally. Um, that's, that's true in every area. When you give dates like that, you all, that's why it's very careful for you to have discernment, um, who you listen to, what you listen to. Um, you can't always take somebody's word for it because they may seem like a really nice person or may, may seem very popular or may have inside knowledge or something like that. Do your own research, you all, also. And it's good, you know, to listen to people and see what they have to say. I want to know what's circulating out there. I really do. Um, but I don't want to go out there and I don't want to do something like that. And literally, it doesn't come to pass. And then I, because I have a conscience within here, a my spirit, my conscience will speak to me. If I was doing something, knowing it was all make-believe and I was doing it for fun just to pull the wool over somebody's eye, that's not me. That's not me. Um, but there are people who role play. They do in real life, like those games people play. And it's all fun and games to them. And they make it look like it's all real, but really that's how they are in life. There are people like that in life. They do it just to do it. Uh, and or the flip side, they may truly, truly believe everything they're saying. Absolutely everything. They may truly believe the information, wherever it's coming from, the source that that information is coming from. They may truly believe it and then pass it on as the gospel truth. They may. They really may. That's why um, discernment is so needed, you all. Even with what I say, if I say something that it does not resonate with your spirit, uh, and if it seems like if it's totally out of alignment, um, don't don't take it in. Don't do it. I wouldn't do it if you wrote on here something that I'm thinking it doesn't align with my spirit. Um, thank you for sharing it with me, but I just don't feel the same way you do about it. We can be respectful. We can and disagree at the same time, we can gather knowledge from one another. We can. You, we can do it. We can, <laughs> we can learn to weather these turbulent waters that we find ourselves in, you all. It's easy. Well, not so easy at times because um, you don't want to see nobody get hurt. You don't. You don't want to see nobody get hurt. You don't. Um, but the one thing is for certain, we are living in very strange times. We are. And there's all kinds of things being perpetrated out there, all kinds of rumors, all kinds of, you name it, make-believe stuff, just to do it, just to do it. And yet, in the flip side, it connects people, okay? You got a community, you're connecting with your community, you're telling them what they want to hear, that's how YouTube works, you all. That's exactly how it works. Or any other social media or website or stuff. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to see what makes what sells, more or less, to get your attention. But all the while, the people may truly believe within their spirit. Right inside of there, what they're saying is true. They may totally agree with it. Um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. A lot of fear spreading. Yeah, and then there are some people, let's, let's address fear. There are some people, uh, if they hear anything negative or something like that, um, they will say that's fear mongering, that's fear spreading, because they don't want to hear anything at all negative. Someone told me, Gina, you need to stop talking. You need to start focusing on the light now. You need to quit talking about the Kahulu or Cthulhu or... Cthulhu and start focusing on the light. I only did two videos on it and I will share whatever I feel led within my spirit to share. Okay, I will. I'm not one who's going to dwell on something like that for a long time because I can't do that. I've got to move on. I got to share whatever I'm supposed to share and then I move on. I don't stick to one particular subject, you all. If, if you have not learned that by now, yeah, I don't. I do not stick to one particular subject. I bounce around just like that. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, your pet is having seizures. Ah, uh, yeah. 
year. Satan is still and kill. Ooh. Oh, comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's right, you all. So, yeah, I don't like to talk like that, but that is true. There are, there's predictions out there. There's lots of things. There's, I'm not going to get too much into it, but you know, you've heard things that you know ain't true, but yet it's circulating and stuff like that. And I, I think you're, you're grown up enough and you're smart enough and wise enough to be able to ascertain yourself whether or not that's the truth or not. I think you're big boys and girls. I think you are. That's right. Um, somebody's got a highly trained disinformation agent. She's good with love. What are you talking? Oh, okay, you all then know. See this Madonna Delaney. She is talking about me, a highly trained disinformation agent. She's good with love and respect. Who are you talking about, Donna? Because I'm getting the feeling that you are talking about Gina, I've already deleted one of your comments. Um, that's what I did. I already deleted one of your comments. Um, and if somebody's talking about me like that, they are the disinformation thing. Oh, you see, well, that's why you're going. See, she's gone. See, they even put their people on here. The reason people like her get on here, they don't like people like me. They don't like people like me. I literally stepped into an area that I should have never stepped into, the UFO community. Four years ago, that was the problem from the very beginning. Somebody who used to be outside doing her little gardening, working on her cars and stuff, all of a sudden she had to take a picture of two sons. Then I had to take a picture of the observatories, and then I had to start getting ships and sharing them, more or less. And then, boom, the spotlight is on me. I've stepped in an area. I was warned and warned and warned time and time again from certain groups of people, and I will not name them. Uh, they had big YouTube channels. I'm bigger than them now. They had big Facebook pages. I'm bigger than them now. Uh, they came at me with everything they got. They could not stand it because of who I am and what I stand for on the inside. There. Too bad. Too bad. I'm where I am right now, and it had nothing to do with them people at all. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just leaving them all behind, you all. That's why they send, they come out here trying to stop me. They've been trying for four years. They've been making up all these kind of things. She's a CIA agent. She's an FBI agent. Her husband works for the CIA. Can I just be me? Can I just be me? Can I tell my own truth? Can I? Can I tell it? I don't know how the ships got in my camera, my cell phone, my little iPhone 8 with a clip-on lens. They showed up. I would go outside, take a picture with my flash on. The light would beam from my camera. Boom, the ships would be in there. Do I know how they got in there? I have no idea, but that is the only way I got the pictures. That's it. As for the CIA agent, I have never worked for the CIA. My husband has never worked for the CIA. My husband is a retired military, Air Force. Um, no, he did not. See, this is... <laughs> oh, Nana Sue. I have a playlist on this YouTube channel called UFO Ships. Um, I do. I've been sharing those pictures since 2018, since the observatory shut down. That's that threw me into the spotlight. It was somebody named John on Twitter. That's, I think that's where it all started somehow. It went viral and then boom, that photo got shared around the world and then I kept taking pictures and pictures and pictures and then one thing led to another, I'm still here. Yes, that's right. And if you haven't heard um, where I'm standing right now, right here. Right here by this bush, three beings came down in a beam of light from the sky. Boom. Two were human. One was an older lady. She stood right down here. There was a small tan extraterrestrial. There was a young lady with long brown hair who stood right here. I stood right there by my doorway. I knew exactly why the young lady was here. She was going to be me. I was going to be her. My world was going to change. I was worried about my daughter because uh, I live a quiet life and I didn't know how my daughter would react when my life changed. Okay, my life has literally been flipped upside down. Uh, and so here I am. 
doing this. That's how it happened. And I was told by the lady, the older lady who sat down there, she read my mind. She said, it's only going to be four years. I'm in my fourth year. Uh, that, that's the gist of it, right there, the gist of it. It was a very, very serious moment. Um, that's my story, and I've always stuck to it, you all. That's it. That's how it happened. And then I just would go outside take pictures. If you haven't heard it, that's right. An ordinary person. I used to volunteer in the school system when my children were little. I did. I loved it. I loved children. Uh, when my kids got into um, middle school, homeschooled them because the school system was too bad until they were old enough to take the entrance exams into college, and then they went to college. Other than that, that's it. Raised our children in the military until my husband got out, moved back here. That's my life, you all, in a nutshell, just like that. So, boom. No, I'm not a disinformation. They just don't like me, and that's too bad. They don't have to like me in order for me to exist. And their opinion of me does not define me. It doesn't uh, at all. It used to bother me from the very beginning when I would hear people do it because I was not strong enough on the inside because I got thrown into this arena that I should have never been thrown into. But it don't really bother me that much anymore. I just tune them out. Yeah, that's it. The Galactic Federation. Yeah, you all can do it. Same here. That's right. Um, so, yeah, you all, it's okay. <laughs> The, you got to think about it. The silliness of people. <laughs> the silliness of people. They don't give up. That's good because I'm stubborn and I'm bullheaded and I don't give up either. I don't. I don't give up until it's time. Until I know within my being that, okay, Gina, your work's done. You can stop now. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep going, you are, no matter what. That's right. Um, uh, that's right. They don't want me to talk. They don't want you all to talk. They don't like it that we, um, talk together. That's okay, you all. That's all right. I like people. I love you all. I love interacting with people from all around the world, from all walks of life. I love to hear about different theories. I do. I may not agree with them, but I will listen to them as long as you're loving, kind, and respectful. Um, I can listen, and you, you listen to me. It's like a two-way street, you all. We can coexist in this world together with love and compassion and kindness toward one another. And it's not really too much to ask. Respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's all it is, you all, just like that. Boom. I don't know. Love you too, Penny Burns, you all. I don't know if they're going back to the moon. I saw the NASA. I saw the NASA, the head of NASA. Was it the head of NASA? Um, when that rocket or whatever was supposed to, the Falcon, something was supposed to go up, and they had to delay the, um, the flight because something was wrong with one of the instruments, and I think they're going to set the next uh, launch date would be like on September the 2nd um, to see if that would happen. Yeah. So I wonder if it will happen, you all. And he said that there's no way they'd send their their men and women up in orbit if there's something mechanically or anything wrong. Um, he said they he used to be on their whatever, and he aborted his mission four times because things were wrong. They had to call it off, you all. That's right. Mm, Michael Gentry. Um, yeah. Oh, you're so welcome, Mary. So, um, yes, if are your pets acting strangely, are they acting out of character, clingy, um, anxious, scared, staring off into space, and all of that kind of stuff? Um, oh, the valve got, yeah, that's right, T-Hammer, thank you. Yeah. Are we the fallen angels? Well, um, I've never thought of myself as a fallen angel. I haven't, um... There'll be three flights, two missions with no humans on board. The launch is going to go up on Saturday. Yeah. Um, that's right. You only fail when you give up. That's right, you all. That's right. It's okay. I am going to go because now I've done made myself tired walking back and forth. But that's okay. I like to. i got to figure out what we're going to do tonight. I don't know what it's going to be, you all. I really don't. got a video to do later tonight. And uh, I don't know what it's going to be on. I don't. We'll see. We'll see uh, where we get led. That's right. 
Um, your dogs are normal. That's great. Your cat is clinkly, clinkly. Your cat is clingy. It's kind of like a tongue twister. Um, it's okay. Um, not today, Satan. Yeah. Oh, you all have a wonderful afternoon, uh, evening too. So thank you, Apple Brooks. If there's any other moderator on here, thank you. Also, if not, well, that's okay. Um, thank you for being a moderator. Thank you all for your um, comments. And um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you have. A wonderful rest of your evening, you all. Hope to see you later. I don't know what we'll share, but I hope